everyone and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swoosh Show Live Market Review. The spy here. Beautiful, 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 beautiful rally in the market today. And I did throw it out there this morning when I looked at the market that there's a small, small, small chance today that the market could do something crazy bullish. <laughs> and I said, don't be surprised if it happens. I thought we would fake lower and fake higher and basically rest today. I didn't necessarily think we'd have the energy to do this today. But it was clear, extremely clear, uh, by around the lunchtime period that the market was not going to rest today and was going to rally today. And that's exactly what it's doing. And the market is confirming, once again, the bullishness, the beautiful look of this market. Uh, so amazing here. Uh, and actually, you know, I don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> so let's take a look at it. So the market open today was pretty much neutral. 198.04-ish, we had closed the night before. But this is a neutral open here in the market. Neutral. Okay. So that's how I was looking at it. And then we did break the low of yesterday. And I said, don't short this, don't short this, don't think we're coming in. I'm sure some people shorted that, thinking that the market would break. It did break the 50 per moving average. It did break the bar from yesterday. It did show some weakness yesterday into the close and the last three days, but not really. Why? This is not what I would consider institutional selling, and it's definitely not shorting. And what is happening here is some people taking profits in this market that's had a nice rally because people are scared because everyone keeps calling like the market's going to crash and fall off the planet, but it's not going to do it. And I keep saying it's not going to do it. And in fact, my mom today said, you know what? Everyone's talking about this market is just going to crash. And I said, mom, I'm telling you, the market's higher. Don't listen to anything you're seeing anywhere on TV or the internet. This market's higher. Today is the confirmation. I thought this could possibly happen Thursday or Friday. Well, it's happening today. And I did think the market would gap up tomorrow morning. This morning, I thought that would happen no matter what. No matter what, I thought that would happen. And it's definitely, definitely setting up that way now. So gap tomorrow in the morning, free market should be bullish or neutral. But probably bullish up and follow through. <clears throat> definitely follow through tomorrow. I don't see anything stopping us from following through tomorrow at all to the upside here. And there is a possibility we could break a new high in the SPY and the QQQs before the end of the week. I don't know if we are exactly going to do that before the end of the week, but it's a possibility. That's why this market should never be shorted in this kind of area. You do not look for a reversal in something that this is this strong. This market is not extended. In the next four to six months, the market's going to hit some crazy number. I've been saying it all along. Time is good here, actually, for this to be happening September 24th. Timing here is good. Why? There's really only three more months left in the year. So for the market to hit some crazy number in the next four to six months, it does have to get a move on here. So it could be yet in September here. It might be till October. We'll have to see. October is next week. September really flew by, didn't it? So a beautiful, beautiful, nice bullish move today in the market. It's one of these weird things where every once in a blue moon, I'll go long. It just so happened that I had the impetus today to do it. Why? Because I had the confirmation the market would follow through in here and had the confirmation that it would follow through after the morning period. Again, I typically don't like to trade in the afternoon, but I did actually go long the market today. Why? Well, Setup was good. Stop was good. Target was real. And, uh, you know, I'm out of this now, but I actually went long the market this afternoon. It was worth it though. It was really, really worth it. And I might go along a few times a year, but it was so clear that the market was going to fall through and continue. And it triggered on a 15 minute buy setup. I waited for the 15 minute. I had the confirmation. You can even see here how this shot up like a rocket into the reversal time here at 2.30. Um, so market had a nice bullish move today. Held into the area very, very nicely. And if people shorted this double top in the market or thought because it didn't make a higher high and it because it made a lower low, if people thought that this was then the end of this thing, the end of the rally, they're going to get stopped out if the stop's over the high because this market is not done rallying. It's nowhere near done rallying. It's nowhere near done rallying. Today is the confirmation. And I did throw it out there this morning in the room that there was a small chance this could happen today. I saw the confirmation that over the lunchtime period it was going to do it. Am I surprised though? No. Why? Because this market is strong. 
And all the people talking about the market crashing, I just, I have no idea why people are even saying that anymore. It's so not setting up like this. Uh, the market is extremely bullish. This is not selling action or shorting action that's really coming into the market in the last three days even. A couple people took some profits. Market did have a gap down and trade down this day two days ago, but this isn't a gap I would have shorted. This doesn't do anything here that's significant. And again, you need to know exactly what to do. I think it's very easy to play uh, directional bias if you understand the overall look of a chart. It's so much easier, though, to play gaps. So you can watch something and wait for a higher time frame, a five minute, a 15 minute, if you want to trend train something. But you better get the numbers right. And you better be sure that it's actually going to follow through and go to have any risk to reward. As it turns out today, the market did have risk to reward in this setup. I mean, this had risk to reward in here today in the afternoon. Why? Because the market pretty much just power trended all day. After a bounce here and here into 10, 15, after it broke the low and fake lower, it rallied and power trended all day. And I said, don't short this market here. Even though it broke here in the morning quickly, 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 it wasn't real. It was a fake out. That's why I caught it. I said, this is a fakey. It's a fake out. It actually was a place to go long. Although you really needed to wait for the confirmation to do it, which you had in here in the five, or you could have waited to the later period. So nice look to the market here. Again, I thought the market would rest today, bullishly, but resting, meaning not really go anywhere necessarily, but rest to go higher. I did say there was no chance the market would fall today, which it didn't. And I did say there was a small, small chance the market could actually have some crazy green bullish day today. And that's exactly how it played out. So look for fall through tomorrow in this buy higher between now and the rest of the week. There's a possibility once we hit up over 200 again, 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 give more confirmation as if anyone needs any more that the market is continuing higher. Still looking for the monster day. Bullish to the upside. And I might actually go long that day. I have to see it quickly, quickly, quickly to do it. Because I like to be done by the morning. I was not done by the morning today. I was not done by the morning today early. So I ended up sticking around and watching this whole thing. Seeing the market actually do what there was a chance for it to do. And knowing the market's so strong. And I never mind actually doing something that I have conviction in. In fact, that's how I make choices to take trades. And I have such a high level of conviction this market is going to hit some crazy bullish number in the next four to six months. And there is, this is not doing anything wrong. This is doing everything right. And that's why I'm cautioning people to not be faked out by thinking this market's going to do reversal because it's not. All the stuff that's out there, people keep talking about this market's going to crash and it's too extended. It's just simply not going to follow through that way. And so you've got to play what's going on in here and see it for what it is. You just stay away on the days like the last couple of days in here. And when the opportunity sets up for you to buy this market, you take it. And that's what's happening. This is actual buying that's going on in the market today. I mean, this is so, so clear here. It's like not even funny. From the low of the day today at 197.52, and again, I don't know where we closed, but this is probably the high of the day, around 199.69. That's a $2 move for the market on a day. It's completely 100% reversed the bar from yesterday, and it's held beautifully. It's actually reversed almost half of the bar from the previous day as well in here. Look at that. And it's actually coming up in here to the next level of resistance, so we could gap up over this tomorrow. We could gap up to 200 tomorrow morning, actually. Or either way, if we open neutral. I, I think we're going to gap up tomorrow to 200, actually. No, I'm saying that's safe. We could even do it tonight. So that would be really a clean... Boy, that would be a clean entry to go long. So we'll have to see how it looks tomorrow morning. I like to review everything in the morning and see. But this was a valid buy setup today, wherever you saw it, whether it was around the lunchtime period or if you were aggressive to do it uh, in the morning. You would have had to know, though, that it was going to fall through with some, with some decent risk to reward today. And although it was obvious to me that we were going to fake lower, I just thought this was a small percentage we'd have this type of rally today. But after I saw this activity here in the morning, I knew it was going to fall through. Because this is really very beautiful. Really nice in here. So nice market long if you saw it to do it in either the queues or the spy this afternoon. Unusual to trade in the afternoon, but every once in a while, sometimes you just got to do it. For whatever reason, you got to do it. <laughs> Uh, sometimes you just got to do it. 
Anyways, almost getting into the close here. We'll look for the market tomorrow morning to see if it's going to follow through immediately or where it's going to take us in the gap in the morning. And market's along, market's higher, continuing to do what it needs to do here to close out this month of September. And pretty much to start out October, and as I'm seeing this here, geez, I think October is going to be an unbelievably bullish month. I don't know why this just came to me now as I'm sitting here. I think October is going to be a crazy bullish month. I think October is going to be a crazy bullish month there. I just said it. October, I think, is going to be a really, really, really bullish month in the market. I just saw it. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. And no one should be short in this market anyways. Have a great day, everyone. This is Melissa with thestockswoosh.com. If you're interested in learning how to reprice or charts or the market or gaps and how to do a call like this this afternoon to see the market was higher, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. The next Golden Gap class is this weekend, September 27th and 28th. If you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Deadline to sign up is Friday by 5 p.m. Eastern Time, and we'll watch the market tomorrow morning. Have a great day, everybody.